Pitcher Naildown. I'm Jason Gilbo at jgilbo11, taking a look at pitching on tonight's 11-game slate. Uh, good night of pitching. There's definitely about five options that are, are usable, um, you know, going up against um, really some of the weaker teams on the board tonight. Um, you know, we're supposed to get Max Scherzer, obviously, tonight, but we're going to get a pushback and get Edwin Jackson, Chris Stratton again. Neither are really playable on this slate. Um, but you look, I mean, given the fact that we did have Scherzer kind of change things, it pushes, you know, Nola, pushes Ryu into play a little bit more, Carlos Martinez, those types of guys. So, um, you know, we kind of get those price down guys, and, and there's a lot of good offenses in good spots that are pretty cheap, uh, like the Royals, like the Cubs. So, you know, expect them to be kind of chalkier with, you know, guys that are priced up in terms of the, of, of arms like Ryu and, and Nola. So uh, we'll start here with Nola. Um, a little bit of rain in the area, so keep an eye on this one. It may push him and be, make it kind of a GPP effort for, for Nola. It's a guy who, who's been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, struggled to get a little bit against Los Angeles, obviously. Allowed eight hits over six uh, innings. Strikeouts really weren't there, but went to Colorado in course. Seven strikeouts over seven innings, allowed just 200 runs. Um, you, you got to go back all the way to mid June when he's allowed over 200 runs in a start. He's just been excellent. He, he gets a Mets team that you know, you know, lost a, a Jay Bruce. That's a big lefty out of the lineup. You still obviously have Conforto and and um, you had Cespedes to worry about. But uh, you know, looking at the rest of these guys, I mean, Curtis Granderson pops up, gives them a couple more strikeouts. Some of their younger guys, Rosario, Dominic Smith, um, you know, Dare No. These these guys are all strikeout prone. I, I think the Mets lineup is. It's a little bit of a, a different one from kind of what they've been putting up against righties all year because, um, you know, overall they're top 10 at Woba, top 10 ISO, strikeout rate less than 20%. This is, those aren't numbers that we usually like to target. But um, you look at Nola here at home where he's pitched really well, uh, just looking at, at kind of what he's done this year. I mean, 10.3% swinging strike rate, 25.4% strikeout rate, uh, just a 7.2% walk rate. Uh, induces a soft contact rate of 24%. So, uh, once again, I mean, he's pitched really well. Um, you know, ground ball rate, uh, right around 50%. Uh, home favorite, minus 130. Mets right around a four-run total. Uh, I don't mind Noah's price tag on, on either side. I think he's playable in all four mats tonight. Uh, Carlos Martinez, let's talk about him real quick. I, a little bit overpriced. Um, I still like him when he's cheaper. I mean, this is kind of odd that... You know, he was 8,200 against the Royals last time out, and he jumped up to 11-2. Um, big matchup at home, minus 224 favorites. Um, you know, three-and-a-half run total for Atlanta. Um, you know, a team that doesn't strike out a ton. Um, could we see kind of a, a, a mediocre outing out of Martinez at the price? Yeah, I think you could. Um, you look at Martinez, I mean, strikeout numbers have kind of been up and down this year. Uh, missing bats at a, a reasonable rate, obviously 10.6%, uh, 25% strikeout rate. So, uh, you know, it's been there. The walks have been up a little bit uh, to lefties. He's a lot of bit of a hard contact, which, you know, that's an issue when you look at Freeman, Adams, um, you know, some of the other guys in Sayarte. Um, this might be a game where I kind of actually looked to fade Carlos Martinez at his price tag and, and not really look to use him and, and look to kind of use a couple of cheaper arms with upside. Um, not to say that he's a bad play tonight. It's just kind of a personal preference at that price tag. Um, and just I, I don't like picking on really the Braves a ton um, with guys that are super expensive. So um, not a bad play, but I think there are better options to go with tonight. Um, kind of move into the later games. I mean, Ryu is a guy that I don't mind targeting, uh, you know, for San, uh, against San Diego. Ryu been missing a ton of bats this year. 12.1% uh, swinging strike rate. 23.4% strikeout rate. He's not walking a ton of guys. Ground ball rate's pretty strong. Sierra, 3.90. Um, you know, you look at Ryu, I mean, he's actually been pretty serviceable. I think he's deserving of the price tag. I don't think it's all that bad to pay that price. Um, seven innings and back-to-back -back starts. Um, you know, a couple of big strikeout games, eight, five, seven, and eight over his last four. Uh, that should be once again here tonight. Uh, San Diego is a team that's that's bottom five on Woba and strikeout rate against lefties. Once again, huge favor for the Dodgers. Uh, Padres, one of the lowest run totals on the board tonight, right around three, uh, three point two. Uh, Ryu's finding cash and GPPs. Uh, I definitely don't mind him. And then we go to Oakland, uh, Oakland, Baltimore. Um, Sean Maniver still in Bundy. The upside in this game is huge for pitching. I think yes, there's still a little bit of a ball of a spot for both these arms, but um, I definitely don't mind kind of going after either of these guys. Bundy's 
been a little bit up and down. Um, you know, if he gets that slider work, and I think he can be fine. Obviously, a huge strikeout game last time out against uh, Los Angeles. Um, you know, struggled against Houston, which you'd expect. He struggled against Minnesota, struggled against Cleveland. He's, he's a matchup dependent righty. Um, and this is just an, an A's lineup that's, you know, right now a team you can really target. Um, uh, you know, against uh, righties this year, they're 17th in Woba, 25% strikeout rate. Um, so there's a lot of upside for Bundy, who, you know, can miss some bats. 10.5% uh, swing strike. I expect his strikeout rate overall to come up. Um, he's a fly ball pitcher, which obviously in this ballpark helps. Um, so I, I think Bundy's a, a decent option to kind of go with tonight. This game is basically a pick em. Great SP2 plays for both these sides, depending on your salary, uh, because there's about $2,000 difference. Um, great GBP single bullets on this slate for cheaper options and kind of fit some more bats in. Um, so I, I don't mind Bundy. I, I, Manaya is the other one. I just, uh, I, you know, I like targeting lefties against Baltimore, even with these righties. Um, they're 19th in Woba against lefties this year. Uh, middle of the road in ISO, 24.3% strikeout rate. Manaya is a guy, um, you know, on the night slate, uh, highest swing strike rate, 12.4%, 22% strikeout rate. If you can keep the walks down, avoid that one blow up inning, which he seems to kind of always have. Um, it should be a quality start. Start so. 6,200 on DraftKings. I mean, that's a really reasonable price as an SP2. Um, 72 on FanDuel. You can definitely load up on some bats there. So uh, I definitely not, don't mind going that route and kind of using them. So I uh, feel pretty comfortable about it, um, both those guys, in terms of their upside tonight. But they do carry some risk. Outside of that, I mean, John Lester moving on the road to Arizona. Uh, he's a GPP play at most, um, you know, didn't really pitch all that well against Arizona. He did have nine strikeouts, which I think the strikeouts could be there tonight. But this is a team that's just, you know, they run, uh, they get on base. They're kind of pesky, even though they do have a, a high strikeout rate against lefties um, and, and obviously don't have great numbers. But the addition of J.D. Martinez, I, I just think tonight I'm, I'm going to be looking to kind of get off Lester. Uh, get off Martinez is kind of the two of the bigger names and focus on some of these other guys that are a little bit cheaper, um, you know, like the game in Oakland, uh, like Bundy. Uh, Manaya, Ryu, <clears throat> and um, Nola there. You know, I think outside of that, it's it's pretty much kind of hands off. I'm not going to be going down those roads. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Uh, you can head over to dayfastcafe.com, check out the great tools and content.